How's it going everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Port Vale career mode and at the end of the last episode I asked you guys a question should I recall JJ Hooper from his loan early? Um, the options were yes, no or get a, get a new striker and the option that won at the time of recording which is what's going to happen was yes so I am going to be recalling JJ Hooper from his loan at Northampton and he is now back at the club and obviously he's going to play for us like why wouldn't he um so yeah and he is going to go straight to the team for this game against Millwall straight away we're currently second in the league we've won all three of our league games so far um so that's a good start isn't it really so let's get straight in to the game against Millwall Hi there again everybody, Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith for your commentary today on... Here's Jones, Hooper, Tavares, Grant, go on Grant, go on Grant, go on Grant! Oh it's gone in, yes, get in there! What a start that is, I didn't, what, a, what a fail from the keeper. Anthony Grant squeezing it in at the, at the near post, don't ask me how that happened. That's how it happened. Greg Wilde putting it through for Lee Gregory. Oh, save. Great save, Anik. Kiko. Hooper again. Oh. He's running through JJ Hooper. There we go. He's happy about that. 2 0 we lead. We beat Millwall 3-1 in real life, so this is kind of realistic, I guess. Those of you guys who voted for to bring JJ Hooper back, if you're Vale fans, I understand why. Because everyone, I think everyone was quite baffled when uh, when uh, we sent him out on loan because he was a fan favourite, wasn't he? I mean, like everyone just thought he's going to be our flippy, he's going to be our goal scorer this season, and he's going to be really good. He's going to score lots of goals, especially the way he ended last season. And then we sent him out on loan. I mean, why? Alex Jones. To be fair, though, we wouldn't have had Alex Jones if we hadn't have sent Hooper out, so... You know. Here is Alex Jones. Oh. Oh no, he is Hutchinson and Millwall have got one back. Alright then. It's now it's now a game of keeping our lead rather than win rather than just flat out winning. Let's do this then. Oh no. Yeah! <laughs> We've won again. We've beaten Millwall. They aren't the team they used to be anymore. We've beaten Millwall. JJ Hooper getting a goal. And who who scored the other one? I forgot. <laughs> Oh, Anthony Grant scored the first one, that's it. 2-1. So I had a suggestion in the comments in the last episode to look through Chelsea youngsters because they've got so many, which I can understand, but I've looked through all of these. Obviously, I don't know their overalls, but they're not very good. Obviously, I know that the likes of Shalabar, Aina, uh, Solanke, you know, and obviously Loftus-Cheek are all too good at the moment f to, to bring to the club. Especially when Loftus-Cheek has a wage of 36,500 a week. Another suggestion I had was to put Rico Henry on the shortlist. Uh, I've done that. I'm, I'm not going to sign him in the first season, although he did also say that in the comments. I'll maybe look at him either in January or in the second season. Because now he's playing for Brentford, he's playing in the Championship. I think he'll be a bit more expensive than last year. Because last year he had nothing in terms of wage. So what I'm doing now, really, is just looking through players who've been transfer listed. Um, I've looked through Premier League players available for loan, but I just don't. I don't really want to use. I don't really want to loan anyone. Because then, obviously, I lose them, and I probably won't be able to get them again because they'll be too much money. Oh my God! Does Frederick Vasselli? He used to play for Vale, and now he's playing for Empoli. That is madness. <laughs> he played in the Euros as well for Albania. So, you know, he's come on leaps and bounds since um, 
since he was at Vale. Um, so yeah, I'm just looking through some transfer listed players. I don't need a striker. I don't need a right mid. Well, I don't really need a left mid either, but and I don't need a right back or a keeper either. So really, I'm looking for defenders and midfielders. That's about it. So uh, I'll get back to you. So I got two players from looking at Premier League loans and two players from looking at transfer listed players as well. The two loans are Sam McQueen and Jonathan Benteke. Um, probably won't get either of those considering one of them's a striker and one of them's one of them is a winger, but they're there just in case. You know what I mean? Um, the two that I looked from transfer listed were Umut Gundawan and Sergio Ayala. Now. These two players look decent. I don't know about Gundogan because he's 26 years old and he looks okay. Sergio Ayala looks better than Gundogan, but he's quite expensive, so we'll have to see how that one goes. I have inquired, uh, just to be sure, and uh, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, um, that's that. So, oh, we've got transfer deadline day before anything else now. Let's get on with this. I want to do some transfers. So for both inquiries, both Valencia and Galatasaray have both said they're on the transfer list and they await any offer you may have. So I'm going to go straight in and uh, I might offer someone, I don't know, because a lot of the players we have, we actually signed this season. Oh, there's not a lot of players on there, is there? See what I mean? These are all the players that we didn't sign this season. Michael Brown's worth 20 grand, oh my god. I don't think I want to offer anyone out of those. Uh, no, I don't. Let's just offer 300,000 then. Let's just do that. Let's just see. And for Gundawan, we should be able to get him close to his base value. Let's offer 150 grand then. Let's do that. Guys, change of plan, I think. I have found Eric Haugan. Last year, he grew to amazing overalls, right? Because I did like a, a regen sort of career mode and went like seven years into the future. And he grew to like 85 overall. He was mad. I have to sign him. And he's affordable. Look at his wage. I have to get him. I have to. I just have to. And they flipping accepted it as well. And he does He wants the same wage. This is actually happening right now. I can't believe this. This is mad. Nah, there's no way. Oh, Valencia accepted the offer. Oh, why you got to do this to me? Can I even afford him? I don't. I can't afford him. That's it, guys. Here we go. It is. Boom. It is done. I've just signed a very good young defender. That just came along so quickly. That's what career mode's like, isn't it? He is going to become some next level player, trust me. I, I, I know about this guy. And if you guys hadn't noticed, I have stopped my pursuit of Umut Gundawan. Um, so I will let him go to wherever he wants and it looks like he's off to Wickham. So he's even going down to League 2. And there we go, that is the end of transfer deadline day, but we have, like, some bad news there, I see training injury. Let's have a look at the monthly scouting update first, just to see if we found anyone. So, you're not good enough, you're not good enough, you're not good enough, and neither are you, that was terrible. Um, training injury, Reg oh. Regino Cecilia is out for three days, he'll miss the next game, but yeah, that's nothing, thank god it's three days and not like three months. But anyway, we have Peterborough in the next game. Let's just play it, I guess. Let's do this. We've had a pair of car keys handed in at reception. A pair of car keys and a wallet. If those are your items, please collect them after the game. Thank you. What a flip. Who the flip forgets their car keys and wallets? How the hell are they in the ground? That means that they've got out of their car without their keys and wallet and somehow got into the ground without paying and they've left their car unlocked. Man, some people some some people are crazy.
Hooper onto Tavares. Alex Jones. Oh, that's the best chance of the game so far. And it's the first proper highlight. Tavares sees Hooper in the clear. Dragged him out wide a bit though. <sighs> Come on. I've got no one to pass it to apart from Kelly who's there. Hooper can just go all alone if he wants. Oh my god. <laughs> still got, still got. He's Kelly. Grant sees Lico down on the side. Lico puts it in to Hooper, who has a strike and he's put it wide. Here's Patterson. Ball in. Hooper's there. Oh, what a header. JJ Hooper. That is why. Well, not really. But that is why I brought him back from loan. So he can score goals like that. Get in there. Great ball in from the substitute Patterson. And you can't get a much better header than that, really, unless it's right in the top corner. Look at that. Hit the bar, goes in, hits the bar again. He's super. Patterson's in the middle, all on his own. It's a carb pretty much a carbon copy of the first goal, except rolls reversed. Hooper crossing it in for Patterson this time and heads it into the bottom corner. 2-0. To be honest, not a fair reflection on this game at all. It's been such a terrible game. That's it. Ball time. Peterborough don't even get a chance to kick off, really. And we win once again. We've won all of our first five games in the league. What a start. What a start. And if we keep on going like this, we are going to absolutely storm League One. And it isn't just us who have won every game so far. So have Bolton. It's currently us and Bolton who are leading the way in the league. I had a feeling it'd be Bolton who would be up against to get promoted. Uh, or to win the league, rather. Um, but yeah, it's currently us and Bolton who have won all five of our opening games. And that is going to end off this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to smash that like button down below. And thank you for the support on this series so far. It's been absolutely fantastic. Let's keep it going. And until next time, thank you so much for watching. Peace.